Ladies and gentlemen, we are still here at the Fast and Furious 70 kilograms max eight man tournament. Now the fighters have a little bit rest and then later on we get the finals. And right now it is time for the It's Showtime World Title Fight, 77 kilograms max. And the first fighter making his way to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Suriname. Please welcome the Predator, Myrtle Grunha! Myrtle Grunhardt, you've seen him here on HDNet before and it's Showtime events. The Predator has gone six and four in his last ten outings. Trained by Mike Passanier at Mike's gym alongside Badahari, Melvin Manoff, Arta Koshenko. Grunhardt, born in Suriname, in South America, a country that gets very little play on the world stage, the world of politics, the world of economics, in the sports world, except of course for kickboxing, because the likes of Remy Bonjaski and Tyrone Spine and Ernesto Hust all hail from Suriname. Grunhardt, the 2010 EMTA K1 Rules European Champion, under 76 kilos, the Octagon Champion in Italy, that is a promotion called Octagon, not actually uh, fighting in an Octagon, in 2008. He's beaten the likes of Amir Ziada, Errol Conning. There will be a gallant opponent here for Artem Levin, as gallant as anyone can be when fighting Artem and Levin. And his opponent in the It's Showtime World title fight, 77 kilograms max, and also the current holder of the world title, representing Russia, fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome Artem Levy! You talk about one of the finest pound-for-pound -pound fighters on the planet in any fight code. You talk about the current 77 kilo world champion, Artem Levin. I mean, this guy is just outstanding and so hard to beat. An incredible record of 62 and 3 with 28 knockouts. He comes in tonight on a tremendous 20 fight winning streak. That streak, mind you, only extends back to January 2010. Can you believe it? It's not even the end of 2011 yet. And he's already had 20 fights in just over 18 months and won them all. And we're not talking about average opponents here either. He beat Cal Klai by decision in Russia. He beat Dmitry Valens by decision in Italy. But most impressively, he beat the contender winner, multiple world champion, Lyotson Klai Fairtex in Beijing. He's beaten so many ties, it's ridiculous. Wins over Matsua, over Nonfanan Pokromak, over Nonsai. The list goes on. Out of Team 11, not unlike Tyrone Spong, he began his career much lighter at 67 kilos, one gold there as an amateur. Moved up to 75 kilos, one gold there. Moved up to 77 kilos and won the It's Showtime World title. Then moved up to 79 kilos and won the WBC World Light Heavyweight title. He has done it all. He can still do a lot more out of Team 11. Frank, I'm excited for you to see this guy in action here. We've really, talking about him all week. I can't wait to see him in full live action, see what happens with him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Itch Showtime World Title Fight, 77 kilograms max. And this will be five rounds of three minutes according to the Showtime rules. And the referee of this match will be Mr. Yop Ubeda. And this fight is sponsored by Super Pro Subway. Oh. Out of 10, 11 comes in the favourite, minus 275. Nurtul Grunhardt at plus 215. Alvin Manoff, Mike Passanier in the corner of Nurtul. Out of 10, 11. And that 20 fight win streak I spoke about has finished seven of his opponents. He actually won the qualifying tournament 
to be a contestant on season two of the Contender Asia, which Stay unfortunately never went ahead. No habits, no they are currently filming the fish. Challenger series, no which is very similar no holding, in Malaysia. No but not the Off Mark the Burnett Contender, contender Series. Which, which of course was won the first back. season by Yodson Clay Fairtex when he beat Australia's John Wayne Parr in Singapore. Artem Levin did beat Yodson Clay, as I said earlier, in Beijing. Michael Frank. Chavello, Frank Trick Round with you. One. Ronat will be a very hard man to knock out. Artem Levin will start slowly and pick up as the rounds progress. Gronhardt has such amazing strength as about his neck and shoulders. Even when you do hit him flush, his head barely even moves. We are now at five rounds due to this being a world title defense for Arna Team 11, 77 kilo title. Look at that. Look at the reach on Arna Team 11. The size of his arms. The way he can shoot off his jab and dip his body shot off the lead hand. Superb. Out of the way, the inside fire kick from Grunhardt. Nice right hand from Grunhardt to the draw. Levin evades the second one. That's what Grunhardt will try and do. Get to the inside and brawl with Artem Levin. Levin wants to stay on the outside, use his reach, use his beautiful technique. Okay, two conflicting styles here, you know, really, with Levin, he's really going to try to make it a real sweet science kind of kickboxing match where he's going to stay on the outside and use some great technique. You got to be real careful. With Gronhardt, he's going to step in and try to beat you up. I mean, and, that, and that's really going to be tough for Levin to deal with in the very beginning. But eventually, he'll find his pace and his, his range and be able to keep Gronhardt off him a little bit if Gronhardt stops being as violent as he has been in the last couple of minutes. Levin uh, high left round kick from Gronhardt. Our team putting him in the corner here. Won't let him out at the moment, so Gronhardt ties him up. If you appreciate fine technique, you'll appreciate the fight style of Artem Levin. If you like a fighter who just goes for the kill, You'll appreciate the likes of Mirko Gronhardt. Fight. You see how Levin just measures the shot. Doesn't overcommit, doesn't overextend. Fight. Has very good efficiency of striking. Some fighters will forsake two or three shots to land one, three or four to land two, but not Artem Levin. Good round kick by Grunhardt and the front kick off the lead foot. Overhand right was blocked. Hey, Looking for a dump stop, and he gets it there, stop, Artem okay. Levin. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was clearly after, after the stop. I mean, that was a good full second. Get more enough time to not try to go for that dump. Inside leg kick. Checks the low kick. Levin says, come on. Strike my thigh. When you hold the left one, actually, no walking, eh? Okay? Fight. There is a major difference between the rules that Levin usually fights under full tie rules and these showtime rules. You cannot catch and strike Fight. once you've caught the kicking leg. You can't catch it, then strike. You've got to release. Under full tie rules, you can catch the kicking leg, you can hold on to it, strike your opponent with elbows, with, you know, with, uh, with punches, and then sweep them down and drop them and dump them, but not under these rules. One round down, four remaining for the world's title. On a big night, we're still to come. We have a super fight between Moses Bote and Rustemi Kreshnik. And then the final, Robin van Rusmal and Arta Kishenko of the Fast and Furious eight-man tournament. As the night goes on, the clothes on our lovely ladies diminish. Is that a bad thing? Isn't that how it's supposed to go at night, though? I'm not complaining, brother. Later tonight, night, the less clothes supposed to have on. NFL Gronhardt has been in training with Butter Hurry, who recently announced that he will stop kickboxing in his final fight on January 27th or 28th, if memory serves, against Gokan Saki on an It's Showtime event. It will be Butter's final ever kickboxing fight before he makes a move to professional boxing. Is that a wise choice in your opinion? Right. No. Round two. Right. I think he could light up professional boxing. It'd be very exciting for boxing, where it needs excitement at the moment in the heavyweight ranks, but I don't think Butter's draw augurs well for boxing. And look at Merkel Grunhardt. 
going for the kill here at the start of the second round. I think he's going for a double-A takedown right there. Artem Levin evaded everything that Merkel threw him on that occasion. After the stop, stop, okay? It's the game plan instructed by Mike Passanier. So you've got to get in the inside and you've just got to tag him on the jawline. You stay at a distance against Levin, he will pick you off. And Levin's kind of deceiving too, because he doesn't look like he's real strong. He's just real tall and lean, kind of lanky. But he's very sinewy. Everything he hits you with kind of hurts. He has no, no tissue over top of the shin, so every time he kicks you, it cuts you wide open. And his hands are amazingly fast, and he's got a lot more power than you think. He uses leverage to his full advantage. Spinning hook kick there from Grunhardt. Held the ropes, though. Nice little knee on the inside for Martin. As I said, just have a look again at the economy of strikes that Artem Levin throws. There's not much that he misses. There's not much that he throws a straight. It's the last one, eh? Yes, the last one. Stop or stop, okay? And the referee, a final caution there for Levin to Come make on. sure he breaks on the break. Nice jab. Stop! Fight! Referee should let them go a little further here in the clinch. Let them get some knees off, give them the benefit of the doubt. Nice body shot. This is still early yet in the fight. These guys aren't looking for rest at this point. You know, let them keep continuing inside this clinch here. Especially for, for Glonhardt. That's his best attribute to be able to get inside and try to win this fight. So you got to give him a shot. Stop. Let him battle a little bit on the inside. Fight. Levin with a front kick. Sits the right hand, perhaps. Nice evasion. Just got out of the way of Goodenhart's right. Front kick to the face. Catches the kicking leg. Counted to the left. Just dropped the kicking leg in time. I can see how in, in full tie rules, he's going to give guys problems with that oh, catch of the leg. That kick incredible kick. reach. He's at the end of your Fight. kick. And he's still punching straight in the face. There's nothing you can do about it. It's he has so much success over the ties, the likes of Matsua and Nontai and Paul Pramik, Yotsen Clyde, they're all so much shorter than him. The ties don't have reach, they've all got very short arms. Yes. Hey, leave me your phone, man. Fight! Step through knee from Levin. Goodhart trying to brawl it out on the inside, but Levin ties him up. Fight! Such an awkward catch. Into the round. Grunhart smiles. He is finding the get go very tough. We still have not seen Artem Levin, however, get out of first gear. Will he pick it up in the third? It is all part of the It's Showtime Fast and Furious tournament from the Forest National in Brussels, Belgium. More when we return here on HDNet. Time for talk is over. HDNet, the moments that make MMA great. You're going to go into cardiac arrest after that one. What a crazy finish. Covering the world of MMA like no one else. Every Friday night on HDNet, your home for MMA. What do you say when your day goes like this? Do yourself medicating. You're numbing the inner pain within you. The deep I don't know, intrinsic why do I pain. Have inner pain. Maybe you're oblivious to it. Let's see. Are you there, inner pain? What happens when reporters become the news? Remember to keep it sexy. Oh God, we're live, aren't we? And what enters your mind after a mind eraser? What I feel like I just got conked in the head. <laughs> Two words. Intoxicatingly funny. What? what? <laughs> Three shots of endless laughter. That's what I'm looking for. Cocktails, couples, and comedy every Wednesday at 8 p.m. on HDNet. Intoxicatingly funny. And aren't him living. Go to zone. Melvin Manuel gives the instructions to Mirthal. I'm pretty sure that I don't know what Melvin is saying, even though I don't speak Dutch. It would involve hey, going to his jaw, hit him in the head hard. Hell of a nice guy, Melvin Menoff and Mike Passanier. And the protection they afforded me when I was shooting the voice versus Badahari. <laughs>
<laughs> or forever be in their debt. Fight. Round uh, three. That was a great voice versus. I was scared. I was sitting on the TV watching. Third round of five. This is traditionally where Artem Levin picks up the pace, where most Thai fighters do. Don't forget that Muay Thai fights are conducted over five threes, be they title fights or not. Usually due to the betting ringside, they take a slow pace in the first two rounds and then pick up the pace in the third to the fifth. So as to enable all the bets to fully come on. And it's always sort of been a source of wonderment to me why we do that in the Western world. In particular, I know it happens a lot down in Australia where Australian fighters do mimic right. the Thai fighters in starting slow for the first two rounds when we don't bet on the fight's ringside. But that's another conversation for another time. Nice right hand there from Grunhardt. Levin just ties him up in the center of the ring. He's going to be careful here, Levin. He's been cautioned several times by the referee not to clinch up excessively. Doesn't want to have a point deducted. But in a championship fight. match. And both guys have been more to stop at the, at the break. They continue to, to fight and strike after the break has been called. And the, the ref is getting ready to stop both guys. Well, the crowd is booing and hissing, quite rightly so. I believe it's a very scrappy match with not a lot of flow. I want to see some more clean, fluent technique here. Instead of always moving into a clinch. But really, it's not even a good knee clinch, sorry, Frank. It's not a good knee clinch. It's just a, a, a stagnant yeah. stalemate clinch. That's exactly what I was saying. It's not even worth doing anything with it. Jumping in this clinch almost for rest. And that's why I call the resting clinch. I'm just going in, I'm trying to tie up and reset. But you've done it four times in a row in, in a minute and a half. You've got to move on to something else. Stop. Knee guard put on there from Mirko Grunhardt. Lazy jab and living a little slow to capitalize with the counter right. Stop. Right. Now the strange thing is though about Artem Levin that if you're finding this one driving you to a little bit of a boring stupor wherever you're watching it, he does have the ability at any time to pull out a knockout. So too does Myrthel Gronhardt. So I would not necessarily advise this is the time to go and make a cup of tea or take that bathroom break. Body shot there from Levin. I feel Grunhardt might be hurt from that earlier strike, Frank. He's backing yeah. himself up against the ropes here. Hey, no, backing up and, tight and guarding up. He's, just, he's putting up the knee guard and putting his hands in, trying not to get hurt. Left hand from Levin. Stop. Final seconds of the third okay. round. Fight. Well, if you forgot to buy your Tylenol PM this week, here's your cure for insomnia. I don't know why Artem Levin is dancing. Two rounds to go in this championship fight. I mean, Artem's winning, which is why he's dancing. But he's not doing anything impressive to make a stand on. He doesn't wow. deserve to dance, Frank. No, he really doesn't. It's a non-dancing performance at the moment. Then he's a big, tall white guy that really can't dance, so narrow it down. Now that's a cause for dancing right there. <laughs> Penultimate round of action coming up. Artem Levin looking to retain his world title at 77 kilos. Move ahead to 41 wins on his record. Merthel Gronhardt looking for his 47th career victory. Come on. Nothing. Hey. Round four. Okay. Fight. Round four. Grunhardt immediately backing up against the ropes. It's so tough to get outside of Levin's reach. He throws a, a looping hook, and it's still 14 feet away from him. <laughs> you know, it, you have so much problems getting underneath him. So even Bob and Wheaton doesn't really work. You have to beat him to the inside, and that's tough to do. Fight! No doubt Myrtle would have been sparring Bada Hari in preparation for this one, given that Bada's got similarly long reach. Beautifully done. That is textbook Muay Thai 101. That was great. I love when you see a guy standing and he goes to guard up and gets kicked out from underneath. And that takes so much technique and almost zero strength, but a lot of Stop. technique and time to make that thing work correctly. Stop. 
Hey, nimm die Schraube vor dran, ne? Fight. <laughs> the ref just told him don't use his shoulder, <laughs> and he hit him with his own shoulder. Back him up. <laughs> <laughs> this referee's been around since the Stone Age, refereeing in Holland. Across all of Europe, actually. Levin, turning right, left round kick, nothing behind it, though. Fakes with the left hand. He switched momentarily there between Orthodox and Southport did Levin. He's in Southport at the moment, you see. Oh, Grohart's got to get out of the corner here. Levin put him with a little knee on the inside. That, it looked like he fell down a little bit, but I think he was actually yes. reaching for the corner post in this time where it was, which is weird to me because Grohart looks like that, now he's trying to rest again. I, I didn't see him get hit by anything other than being tired. I, I mean, I don't know why he would be trying to very up because I think he's doing pretty well right now against Levin. Renhardt covers up. He is allowing Levin to beat him to the punch in this round. Whereas he was the one that was striking first in the earlier rounds. Mirthal Grunhardt. Could be a sign of fatigue here. It's not often that Mirthal has to go five rounds. Usually he's fighting in three rounders. But he gets his tilt at the championship here tonight. It's time to step up to the plate. Fight. I know, and you guys at home, you know, it sounds like, well, six minutes really isn't that much more time, you know, really for a fight. But that's a big, that's a long difference when you're fighting for a title fight. Six minutes is a real long time when you're at a high rate. Try not to get hit while hitting. It's a big, it's a big so, difference. Los. Fight. Levin. Front kick to the midsection. Final 20 seconds of the fourth round. It's going to be out of 10 Levin's round just because Murderful hasn't really done anything. Can he try and steal it now, perhaps? Hard to steal rounds against out of 10 Levin. Look at that, how he throws the right hand from the hips. These awkward angles he uses and full extension of his reach. I've got him ahead in this fight, out of 10 Levin. Yeah, absolutely. And look at the way he was fighting at the end of the round. His hands were dropped down around his hip, and he's just jumping in with punching because Gronhardt really isn't doing anything back to him. He's not punching back, so he doesn't even care about defense anymore. And Frank, I dare say, having seen and commentated out of him in the past, I, I, he's not out of first gear here at all. No, he's, he's this, this is a glorified strong. sparring session for him. He's probably fighting at about 35%, I would say, if that. You know, it, he's also one of those guys that games up. The harder you go at him, the harder he's going to go, which causes him to get a lot of knockouts because guys always want to step up their game. And I don't think that Gronhardt's going to do that. He's just going to, this fifth round, he's going to kind of hold on and hang out. And, I don't know if he's tired, if he got a small injury or, or what's going on, but he just isn't coming forward as much as he should be. And as a result, Artem Levin doesn't really have to do anything. Levin just kind of stand there and, and hang out and, and you know, get the victory relatively easily. Coaches have the ring, Fifth and please. final round of the championship match. The 77 kilo title of Artem Levin on Rigolo. the line and looking safe at the moment. Come on, come on. Seconds, come on. Seconds, that's on. Okay. Hug, kiss, get ready to go. <laughs> Round five. <laughs> Levin. They tie up early, yes. short knee for Martin hey. Levin. Will he finally step it up a notch here in the final round, the champ? As Frank said, he's done enough and he can do enough just to win and retain the title, but he won't win any fans here in Belgium. Body shot, nicely timed. Grunhardt tries to loop over the top. Step through knee from Levin. And you see how he snakes the hand, taps his thigh, he invites Grunhardt to throw to the thigh. Just some mind games there from Levin. No doubt he's inherited that from the ties. Ties are full of mind games in their fights. Nice knee, caught Grunhardt then. Oh, in the corner. Oh. I think Levin has stepped it up a notch here in the final round, Frank. But to me, he's still only in second gear now. He is picking it up. I think he is looking for a finish, but he really hasn't gone to that full fledged we'd like to see him fight out no. in the past. He's gone maybe from 35% to about 42%. And look at Grunhardt, he is tired now. Levin with the body shots. Knee to the midsection, doubles up and it almost folds him in half like origami. One minute 30 remaining, uppercut from Levin. 
Stop. Los. One's over. The mouth guard Six. spat out. Couldn't hide, writhing in pain. Eight. He's not going to get Nine. up. Done. Out of 10, Levin defends the and world match. title. Yes, now you can dance. Wow. Fuck, he stepped up the way we thought he would. He finally accelerated about 50% and got that knee inside. That's a hard knee, Frank. Grunhardt is still down. One beautiful knee strike to the midsection. Jeez. Great positioning, great timing. Finally slid it inside and got him down. And he did it so quick, I almost didn't even see him lifting his leg up to get after it. Grunhardt still down, the doctor there standing over him. You know, traditionally when you see a knee knockout, usually comes from a knee to the jaw, a knee to the forehead, knee to the temple. Rarely do you see a single knee strike cause a knockout or the knee to the body. Caught him in the liver, I think, is what he was saying. He was tapping his stomach. Trying to tell the the, uh, the doctor, the ringside doctor, that he got hit right in the liver. So that uh, you know, good body blow. And that's what we've been seeing all night so far. Is that everyone's going to the body, hitting that, going to the right side of the body, getting to the liver. And you know, tonight, Artin Levin did it with his knee, which is amazing. It is a thing I love about European kickboxing, in particular, the use of the body shots, particularly the dipping liver shots. There's Simon Rutz with the World Championship. Artin Levin may have bought his fifth for four rounds, but he turned it on in the fifth. To score a very good knockout. I would be intrigued to see how Levin goes in a eight-man tournament situation, three fights over one night, Frank, if he could step up his pace to be able to do that at a yep. high level. You know, part of the problem is, too, is that when you get wins like Ladies this, where you kind of bored one to death and you get a knockout, you're not going to step your pace up. We have a winner up. in the It's Showtime world title fight, 77 kilograms max, and still the holder of the title from the red corner, Artem Levin now takes his win streak to 21 fights in a row. He is still the It Showtime 77 kilo, 175 pound champion. Also the WBC Muay Thai light heavyweight champion. Who can possibly stop the lion, Artem Levin? It's folks still to come here on HDNet at Showtime from Brussels, Belgium. A super fight in the heavyweights. Moses Bote takes on Rushdemi Kreshnik. And the final between Robin van Rusmalen and Arta Kishenko. It has been a stunning night so far with great knockouts, high precision fighting, and a lot of pace. And with two fights left, you do not want to go anywhere. Good to see Grunhardt back to his feet. And our team living that strap affixed firmly around his waist. As we see the knee that did the damage, one single strike to the midsection. Have a look here. Oh, beautifully timed. It was indeed to the liver. Wow, great space. Got right underneath the elbow, right in that area. There was no place to go. Our team living showing how it's done. A world-class knee to the midsection. And folks, when we